Hey everybody, this is Ann Evans from the Center College Admission Office again. We are standing in front of Northside Residence Hall right now. So this is our newest residence hall. It opened in the fall of 2019. It holds about 173 students. Let's go check it out. It's a really, really large building. <laughs> um, but you still have these kind of smaller suites inside, which is nice. This is actually built on what used to be the old soccer field. And I was a soccer player here at Center, so this is the field I played on. Um, so it's kind of fun to see how things continue to evolve and change. And of course the new Southfields area for soccer is really cool. All right. This building has swipe card access, just like all of our residence hall buildings. You come in, and there's still a kind of new building scent <laughs> here, which is wild. But you come in, there's this lobby space with a fun mural by students over here on the right-hand side. There's a meeting room right here. So good for studying, there's a TV in there, whiteboard, conference table and chairs. Just like in most of our residence hall areas, there's a little lobby space here with a small TV and a little telephone in case you need to call anyone on campus. Um, so good spot to kind of hang out and unwind. But let's head upstairs, let's go check out one of what we call the pods um, that make up Northside Hall. So we have a lot of different size pods here in North Side. They're basically suites, but all of the rooms are doubles. And there's a different number of doubles in each suite or each pod. But here we have, again, a lobby space landing for the second floor. It has the comfy couches and chairs, as well as a table here for eating meals or perhaps studying. There's a shared kitchen space over here with a nice waterfall countertop here. Um, and again, more chairs and tables and a TV to check out. But let's go check out the suite. Um, every single floor has a study lounge. So this is like the one that was downstairs with the conference table, whiteboards. Everything's on wheels, so you can move it around as needed. We're going to go in 203, and each suite is also protected by needing a swipe for entry. So let's get that. Good deal. Boom. Okay. So when you walk in to one of the suites, you walk in, and there's a nice table area, enough seating there for eight people. You can always pull more chairs around if you want. But every unit's going to have the refrigerator, a microwave, a kitchen, um, kitchen sink is what I mean. Lots of cabinet space. So if you, you know, end up wanting to bring things, you're welcome to do that. Um, bring food, whatever you want. We have a nice lobby space here, pretty neutral colors. Again, some comfy couches, comfy chairs, so you don't have to provide the furnishings for your living arrangements here at Center. Those things will be provided. Bathroom. So you see individual kind of bathroom style with a couple of sinks. Hey, guys. And then another one right on the other side. Another bathroom unit. This whole suite is, if you fold it in half, it's a mirror image. Um, so the other side down that hallway over there is going to be the same as this side. So it's just a duplicate. Um, let's see. We'll walk all the way down the hall. And let's pop in, see what a room looks like. All right. So you can see nice tall ceilings in here. Desks, chairs, beds are provided. The beds in here are a little bit higher. And you've got really big windows, which is awesome. When students leave every year, inevitably those 3M strips that people put on the wall pull some paint down with them. All the rooms are repainted or touched up um, every single summer. So when you come to center, there shouldn't be any, you know, very clear 3M <laughs> pull marks on the wall. Um, 
and if there is for some reason, then we'll make sure we get those fixed right away. You just talk with your resident assistant. But you have this kind of hanging closet space here with slots for extra shelving if needed. You've also got some storage space way up top above the doors as well. Um, but what my favorite thing about these rooms is just how tall the ceilings are and how you really feel like you've got a lot of space in here compared to many residence halls um, across the country. But yeah, so this is a great option. A lot of, I'd say probably juniors and seniors live here. Um, again, all of these are doubles, so every door down the hallway leads into a room that was identical to that one. So lots of options um, for students who want to continue to live with one roommate, but perhaps also want that kind of sweet style experience. That is what the Northside Residence Hall brings. So we'll head on out. If you have any questions at any point about residence halls or life at center or anything, please feel free to get in touch with your counselor. Um, we will do our best to answer questions. And if we can't answer those questions for you, then we will get you connected with someone who can, or we will find the answer for you. If you'd like to talk with a student, you are welcome to let us know that you would love to chat one-on-one -on -one with someone, um, and we'd be happy to make that connection for you. So it can be email, phone call, whatever's gonna make the most sense to you. I also wanna highlight, we have drinking fountains um, here, they all have the bottle refill stations as well, so we definitely want folks to use their own water bottles if they can and kind of reduce waste in that way. But those are all over campus. I just saw that one and thought I'd share. All right, so that's north side. Again, maybe typically juniors and seniors, probably, um, probably some sophomores as well in that building. But again, this was our first year with it. Um, we're really, really happy to have it. It's, I've heard really great feedback from students um, about that whole unit. Oh, and I forgot to point out that in every single suite inside, there is also a conference room. So if you are wanting to study and you wanna stay in your suite, you can do that and you don't even have to be in your own room. You can go into that conference room. So when you walk out, we see the back of Pearl Hall over there, and then we see some of our first year residence halls um, over to the right. Yerkes, Cheek Evans, and Atchison and Coel, those are all first year residence halls that look a lot like Nevin inside um, when you check them out. So hope this was helpful. Feel free to reach out if we can be of any assistance to you. All right, take care.